squatties happy sunday good morning good afternoon and good evening whenever you're listening or watching hello be sure to check out memberships you can join if you're interested you'll be in a company of equally amazing squatties <laughs> or if you don't feel comfortable joining memberships or sending super thanks or super chats but would like to support the channel then you can also send any donations to my cash app or paypal so it'll be on the bottom of the screen for you to see and also inside the description box along with all the information regarding this podcast thanks and a huge shout out to each and every one of you and especially to the ones who actually financially support this channel you have no idea your super thanks and super chats and um your memberships they truly help this channel you have no idea every thing that i get here from youtube financially goes straight to the programs that i use um i use like three different programs uh one of them is uh power director what thing is called power director i don't even know the name of it <laughs> i use that um as well as in shots and uh, i use in shot for like my thumbnails because like wow like wow that's an amazing app to use to make videos editing it also makes beautiful pictures as well but i prefer like, like the in shot um in shot i prefer in shot as well as cap cuts i love cap cut as well so and for all of those i have paid memberships so yeah and um, i'm just thinking about just going annually <laughs> with those programs because like the monthly thing is so annoying i'm used to just paying things annually so I'm, I'm probably going to be doing that next year i'm just going to just you know run out i don't know i just like to start everything at the beginning of the year if that makes any sense so who knows maybe i'll i guess i'll start properly the end of the year but preferably it will be the beginning so yes I'm thankful for your support, whether you're watching the videos, I really appreciate you watching the videos, like, <laughs> um, just watching them for as long as you possibly can, that will help uh, reach the algorithm, I've been told, and also appreciate the likes, that also helps as well, <laughs> as well as the comments, I love reading your comments, uh, I especially love reading all your comments and i laugh at the uh, troll comments whether they're from actual people or bots like it's, it's funny yeah just wanted to acknowledge that <laughs> so last week was a great week to see harry and megan once again and this time they were in new york to participate in a discussion during their actual foundation summit about navigating mental health challenges online Board member of Project Healthy Minds, Carson Daly, moderated the discussion for the World Mental Health Day Festival. On Tuesday, October 10th, it was Archwell Foundation's first in-person event, providing a platform for parents navigating mental health challenges in today's digital age. The summit featured parents who had experienced tragic loss connected to their child's social media use. Harry and Megan have been working with the parents involved in the event behind the scenes. At the end of the panel, Daly turned to Megan and asked, well, I'll let y'all hear it. <laughs> this social media as it pertains to the youth, you know, your youth, your two kids, mental, where is that now on a priority list? Being a, a mom is the most important thing in my entire life. And um, outside, of course, being a wife this one um, but I will say I feel fortunate that our children are at an age again quite young so this isn't in our immediate future but I also feel frightened by how it's continuing to change and this will be in front of us I think so much of it can come down to if someone is looking for something please don't feed them the thing that they're not looking for that's going to harm them the algorithms are very powerful but I'm confident that with more ears and as my husband said awareness and visibility on what is really happening Surgeon General Vivek Murdy also joined Megan and Harry on stage to discuss the importance of this work and explore potential solutions in the conversation 
Though the discussion was heavy, as it should, since it involved parents and families of children who are tragically affected by dangerous online activities, it was definitely needed. My heart always sank whenever I see or read stories involving children taking themselves out due to bullying, harassment, or not feeling valued or worthy, and feeling ashamed to share with family or friends your or their mental health struggles or their struggles. Just because they feel as if they're seen as weak or, or an inconvenience. Then there's the schools who gives bullies a pat on the back or a slap on the wrist and nothing more is said regarding that. In fact, some of the schools blame the victims. I'm like, are you kidding me? But I've noticed like the past couple of years that a lot of schools have taken have taken bullying very seriously as well as mental health as well. Like I've seen a lot of um a lot of programs, a lot of new, uh, a lot of new programs and new courses, you know, involving mental health and, and, uh, and I applaud a lot of these schools for doing that. Uh, hopefully all schools end up doing it, but like from where I'm, from where I live, I've, I've seen a lot of, of schools, uh, partake in the importance of mental health and bullying and just whatever problems that's out like now like the cyber bullying or like physical bullying or or you are you feeling really bad or you feel like or you know what i mean like they they have a lot of programs for that now and i truly appreciate that and back on the topic regarding bullies and it can also be complete strangers you know who get a kick out of making someone feel terrible about themselves and will legit encourage that victim to do the unthinkable. Um, I remember seeing a story on TikTok. Uh, it was about a couple months ago, I think. It was about three Nigerian men getting arrested and indicted for this American teen boy taking himself from this world. It was a, a sextortion for money situation. And um, well, apparently they they bought up a, a whole lot of hacked social media accounts and used them on their victims. They even used a girl's account to go after this boy who I just mentioned, a 17 year old boy who legit thought he was chatting with this girl online. Like they were like getting close and he he was feeling good probably. Like like he really he really liked this girl. And, you know, she was about the same age as he, and um, I guess he trusted his girl because he sent a quote unquote sexy picture of himself, you know, doing uh, something, you know, sexy, uh, sexual, I'll say. So he, he did that and he sent it to her, Well, he, or, or he thought he sent it to her. And once that happened, all hell broke loose. These scammers had access to his family's social medias and threatened to send this photo that he thought he sent of this girl that he really liked and trust, um, threatened to send it to his family if he didn't give them money. All he had was $300. I mean, he's a kid. So that was all he had left. That's all he had in his possession. And of course, he was like terrified out of his mind like you don't want his family seeing him that way and um he gave them three hundred dollars and it was out of desperation and and um unfortunately that wasn't enough they wanted more and the poor boy felt that he didn't have anyone to go to and instead of telling his family or his friends or just instead of just telling someone about this monster's request and this extortion he thought of, about just maybe if he just took his own life this won't happen like this all this will go away and the monster's response he encouraged it <sighs> so the michigan fbi and nigerian economic crimes commission worked together to arrest and indict these monsters who not only caused a 17 year old boy to take his own life but also apparently um did the same to a hundred other victims 
I'll share the link in the description box uh, regarding this story. Um, it was incredibly sad and there's so many stories like this you know, out there from you know, social media apps to the gaming apps, you know, even commas on this platform and so and so um, of, of monsters. You know, looking for the next victim, looking for the next, you know, person to to scam or extort money from. And just make sure you monitor your children's online activities, um, regardless of their ages, their children. Um, they're still learning. They need our guidance, our support and love. And naturally, the blame should go to the bully scammer or, ext or extorter. But I know some parents are a bit different with their approach, but uh, don't don't be too hard on your kids. <laughs> There's a lot of predators out there, a lot of monsters, and it's, uh, I'm glad that this family got justice for this. And hopefully this is a, just as, but hopefully this is, a, and hopefully that, and hopefully this is a, a, a start of a new thing you know having you know all the countries around the world work together to get these monsters sent behind bars i mean these dudes you know nigeria and, and the united states work together they flew these guys out here to the to the states now and they're facing up to 30 or more years in prison all right, but I have a link if you wanna if you're interested in that story and um in the articles, but um yeah. Okay, it's time to change the tone of this podcast and it's about Harry and Megan. They also met with students at the Marcy Lab School, which is a partner of the Archwell Foundation to meet the exceptional fall 2023 fellow gaining the skills to pursue a purpose-driven career in technology. Based in Brooklyn, New York, Marcy Lab fellows are high school graduates from age 18 to 24 who participate in a year-long fellowship designed to teach the software engineering skills they need to pursue tech jobs while incorporating mental wellness and civic engagement into their curriculum. Marcy Lab is focused on building a more diverse technology sector through the education of the next generation of software engineers who are taught to use technology for good. Since its founding in 2019, the Marcy Lab School has had gained 128 graduates pursue careers in software engineering at companies around the world. During their visit, the Duke and Duchess met fellows who shared their aspirations for building a better online world and fostering a more inclusive tech community. They also spoke with alumni on how their experience at Marcy Lab prepared them for their new roles, teaching them the technical skills they needed to succeed alongside a tailored personal development and leadership curriculum. The Archwell Foundation has partnered with the Marcy Lab School for the past year and is proud to support their incredible work as they educate the innovative young leaders of tomorrow. I truly love how dedicated Harry and Meghan are to their causes and the importance of our future leaders. Moving on to International Girls Day. Which is observed annually on October 11th, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the Archwell Foundation celebrated International Day of Girls with Girl Scouts of Greater New York's Troop 6000. Troop 6000 started in 2017 as the Girl Scouts Troop in New York City specifically for girls, for young girls, aged 5 to 18 living in a shelter system to provide a supportive community for the girls to make friends and have new fun experiences together. Troop 6000 is a vibrant community that empowers the girls to confidently achieve their future goals. Through weekly meetings, bag activities, and leadership development, the program gives the girls the courage and tools they need to thrive. The program now serves more than 1,000 Girl Scouts at 25 shelter sites throughout New York City. Earlier this year, Troop 6000 expanded its program to support migrant and asylum seeking families arriving in New York City and proudly offers bilingual programming. 
Archfall Foundation was thrilled to join the girls and the group leaders for dinner and provide a donation of scarves, beanies, and tote bags. We are proud to celebrate girls locally and globally today and every day. And of course, I didn't want to forget about Harry and Meghan's vacation in St. Vincent and the Grenadians. Um, such a beautiful island. Oh my gosh, sorry, my cat is in here. Let's, let's get some quick cat. Let's hear my cat purr. <laughs> That's Luna. She wanted to just come in as I do this quick recording with Harry and Megan's vacation. It looks absolutely beautiful here. I'm so happy that they are that they uh, that they've done this. Uh, I believe all couples sh should take the time, you know, to do stuff for themselves. You don't even have to leave the country to do it. Just, you know, just, just, just spend some time with yourselves. Like, I know, like, you know, I know that there's children and, you know, money and etc. <laughs> like, you know, like I mentioned before, you don't have to leave the country. You can just go to like a dinner date, and um, I think that you can do more than a dinner date, though. Like, you could do like a, like a hotel thing, like you know, run out of suites for a weekend or, or for a few hours, or go out. To the the beach together like they're doing just just reminding that just reminding yourselves that before the children before everything it was just you two now i understand that you know when people get together as well they they already have children from previous relationships so you know you know just you you <laughs> you can still spend some time together um i mean i know not everyone has like a trustworthy person that can look after the kids or whatever but i mean hey you don't, you don't even have to leave your home like <laughs> maybe you can like spend some time when the kids are sleeping and do something in the house like i don't know or in the backyard or or just something like just i mean look at look at harry and megan they're extremely busy people they have two young children and they still make time to they still make time for each other and i love that i absolutely love that about them and now let's get to these welfare royals well pa i believe i finally outpressed hold in the news seeing it i did not invite you in my office why do you think that because my paid writers from the UK press made me look like the chipper and happy brother, while Harold looked absolutely miserable. Did he? Because I'm seeing a different reaction domestically and abroad. On the contrary to your fantasy, Harold and Meghan are praised globally for their New York trip regarding mental health and the International Day of Girls. A girl. A black one of that. Or... I'm not sure. She could have been like that woman. Ask what was my favorite emoji. So my witty response was an abogene. I saw that. I thought it was quite witty. Despite your rumors of your pegging, what to do with my partner has nothing to do with my answer. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ignoring getting out press won't work. I've been down that road with your mother. And Kate, get out of the closet. Oh dear brother, you're no fun. Edward, I thought Kate was in the closet. She is. Ta-ta for now. How did you know I was in there? My psychic skills. <sighs> You'll never get over your disturbing stalking. This is going to be so creepy. What was that? I couldn't understand from all the mumbling. Perhaps it's the plaque. Backing up from your yellow teeth into your ears. Tampon, baby. <laughs> We're in case made fools of themselves once again, while failing to keep up with Harry and Meghan. Oh, hello, William and Kate. What was that again about Kate making a fool out of herself? She said you and I made fools of ourselves. Carmela, what did you say about her and that woman? They've been traveling like world leaders. They even had security. I wouldn't be surprised if that bloody mayor did all that for them. Meanwhile, he cancelled my appointments. Because he found you as a bore. An opportunist. You did lie about her being there. Quite embarrassing. 
not as embarrassing as your obvious fashion choices. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, Willy, why are you left like a schoolboy? Sounds like Rose called to William. Look at his bombs clinching. Why are you looking at my son's bombs? The non-stop clinching is distracting. I'm going to be seen as the sexiest prince of Wales and Fuchsia King. Your beauty does look nice. Don't touch me. <gasps> now I see why you've been so excited. That Trump Rose got you excited. Hear that aubergine. Ooh, I hope it breaks mid-slide. Perhaps you need an aubergine in your pathetic mouth to fix that mumbling. Harry is still better looking than you all. Amen. Shut up, the both of you. I second that. As a matter of fact, all of you, out of my office, at once. And that's all for this podcast. And I hope that your days are filled with blue skies, sunshines, with positive vibes. I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell. Also, join a membership. I have the links inside the description box. My name is Deanna, and you are watching Thriving with the Sussexists. Talk to you soon.